Hello everyone welcome to this channel, tutorial made easy. Today I'm going to show you how to create skull-like database, but this time with password protected. On the previous video, I have shown you how to download and install the DB browser, then create a simple skull-like database, read and write some data on it, you can find the link in the description. In this video let's make the database more secure, we will make it password protected. To do that we need to use the second executable file that come with the DB browser. It is named DB browser for SQL cipher. During the installation we did not create the shortcut yet, so we need to find it in the installation folder. We need to create a shortcut and copy it to the desktop, just to make it easy to run it next time. Let's run the SQL cipher. We need to double click on the icon. But before that, I would like to change the folder preference. I need to go to Edit Menu, then select Preference. I need to change the default location of our database to Desktop. Now, let's open our database. I choose the file name MyShopDB. The file successfully opened, we can see that it was not prompted for a password. There are five tables in the database, including the sequence. Here we can do like creating an index, delete a table, modify a table and create a new table. Mostly we have tried that in the previous video. So let's set the password for this database. I need to select the tools menu, then select set encryption. In this encryption windows, we can entry our password and select the encryption setting. We can choose Skull Cipher 3 or Skull Cipher 4 or Custom. Please be aware that you have to use the same encryption settings when open the encrypted database. Skull Cipher 4 have new features, improvements, and fixes than the old one. So just select this for this time and then type in the password. Make sure the password is the same, then click OK button. The database is closed and reopen automatically. Now we need to put the password every time we open it. Let me try once again to close and reopen our database. Select our database name, MyShopDB. We need to entry the password. Let's try wrong password then click OK button. It's keep prompting for a password. Let's put the correct one. Now, it's open successfully. Next, I want to show you how to remove the password. I need to go to Tools menu then click Set Encryption. Make sure that the password entry is blank, then click OK button. It will remove the password. Let's close this one and reopen the same database. We can see that there is no longer prompted for a password. That is so easy, right? Subscription is free. If you subscribe, you will help me to develop this channel. Thank you for watching. 